again. I just recorded a video on losing weight in a sustainable way and um, how fasting and restriction are not ways to do that because it's not sustainable. And I just wanted to do one more video on the topic of weight loss while it's fresh on my mind to encourage people to wear the clothes that fit your body. A lot of people are holding on to an entire wardrobe that they haven't fit into for years and they keep telling themselves, I will be happy and I will start X, Y, and Z and I will be able to live my life when I get down to this certain weight and I can wear these clothes. That is a lie. Your life is short. We don't have forever to live and I feel like we're treating our lives like we're going to live forever. Like, why would you even waste one day wearing clothes that don't fit your body? When you can go to Salvation Army and spend $7 on an entire outfit that you look and feel great in. If you want to hold on to the clothes that you don't fit into anymore, that's totally fine. I think it's fine to have a goal and you should, you know, get to there unless it's an unhealthy size, you know, that you shouldn't be going back to. But, um... There's no reason to not buy clothes that fit you in this time. If, if your excuse is, well, it's expensive and I'm just not going to fit them, you know, in a couple of weeks, literally Salvation Army, Goodwill, Salvation Army, buy some clothes that stretch. I have a pair of leggings that fit me when I was 69 pounds and that fit me now at 145 pounds and they're super cute. I have baggy sweaters that are fitted in just the right places. Same, same thing. They fit me when I was underweight and they fit me at a healthy weight. They fit me when I was pregnant. They fit my belly. Buy clothing that will change and grow with you. It's really, really helpful. I just want to encourage you to live your life now. I think that the topic of weight loss is obviously really important to a lot of people because a lot of people are overweight these days and struggling with their weight. It's not just this because these people are overeating or eating the standard American diets because people are sick. People have underlying root causes like hypothyroidism and mold toxicity and other issues that make it difficult to lose weight. Central nervous system disorders, trauma. Um, a lot of these people do have emotional issues to work through and they're using food as a coping mechanism. For all these people, I think a huge, large percentage of them, maybe even 70, 75% are spending most of their mental capacity and space living in the future, living in a hope for a future of a different body. I think a lot of people are not living to their fullest potential because they're limiting themselves because they are not the weight that they want to be. Um, I think that a lot of us limit ourselves mentally because we're unhappy with ourselves. But if you can learn to accept yourself in this present moment, and I'm not saying to accept obesity and to say, this is just me and I'm happy with it. I am not saying that. You guys know that. You know me. What I'm saying is ask yourself, what am I doing about the problem? Are you confronting it? Are you making changes in terms of nutrition and your habits and your behaviors? Are you addressing the root cause? If you are, then live your life. Give yourself permission to go live your life and enjoy your life because it is limited. Jesus might be coming back in the next couple of years, guys. I mean, you can't, you can't waste your life just waiting. And this is something that I've been working on. I have so many imperfections and I just had a baby. And even though I'm back to my pre-pregnancy weight, I don't love my body like in a way that's like, oh, I look so awesome. But I do love my body in a way that's like, I so appreciate where my body has gotten me because I am fearfully and wonderfully made. I so appreciate that I am thriving and I have overcome over 10 autoimmune diseases, chronic C. diff, chronic Lyme, severe mood disorders, severe digestive issues. By the grace of God, I am so grateful for this body that has carried me that delivered our baby and recovered from that, it's amazing. And so I don't care as much about the weight or what I look like in the mirror. It's not wrong to want to look pretty and to put on makeup and to want your clothes to fit and to be flattering, but it is wrong when it becomes an idol and it is literally prohibiting you from living your life to the fullest because you're not happy with where you're at. That's the point where it becomes an idol because I know that God will use you where you're at.
that's an attitude problem. So if your weight and your image has become an idol in your life, I plead you to reconsider. Are you confronting the problem? If you are, if you're addressing the issues, go live your life. This is really important. It breaks my heart to see so many people hung up on their own weight and saying, you know, if I could just lose this weight, then I would live my life. If I could just get down to where I was, how many people are saying, if I could just go back to that weight and then they gain more weight. And then they say, if I could just go back to that weight, you know, we're never going to be happy, perfectly happy with where we're at. It's just the human nature. Embrace gratitude, embrace thankfulness, embrace everything else that life has to offer other than the way you look. I do believe that feeling good in your own skin is a huge blessing. And this happens when you support your health and your body for long enough and you're consistent, but it takes time to heal. It takes time to reverse some of these root causes that make it difficult to lose weight. So give yourself grace and focus on what you can do today to live life to the fullest. Go find a Salvation Army and get yourself a cute outfit for $7 and live your life.